I am here at 2520 Freedman's Walk Drive in Decula, Georgia, conducting the move-out inspection. Um, with this property, there are a couple things I'd like to bring to your attention. First of all, you can see this property needs to be added to the cut list as soon as possible. Uh, there are weeds that have grown about knee high, so that's something that needs to be addressed. And also, I noticed that the water and power are off inside this property, so that's something that would need to be turned on before we have the general contractor come out and make repairs. Um, there are a couple of minor things that need to be addressed at this property. There is not anything that I would consider major. Um, as you can see right here, as you step into the family room from the front door, there's a white paint stain on that hardwood floor there. So that's the first thing I want to bring to your attention. Uh, secondly, in this living room, you can see there are stickers above the fireplace. Um, those would definitely need to be removed and uh, we would definitely have to do some touch paint or paint in here to match throughout. Also on the opposite wall of the fireplace you'll see we have a bright it may look blue here but it's a greenish teal looking color. Very bright. Um, as we go around the corner here you'll see there's a mark or marks from where pictures were hanging or something like that and also above every window in this family room you'll see nail holes where curtains were once hung. Um, as we come around toward the kitchen the second door on our right will lead us into the garage. As you can see it's an instant here it's pretty dark. There is no motor and I'm going to let this garage up just so you can see it. Once again, the power is off, so I cannot uh, lift it manually. I'm sorry, with the automatic door. So as you can see there, there is no garage door here. Also, I want to point out a couple marks on the wall. Uh, there are some marks on this garage door wall all the way around. Um, it's pretty typical for a garage, however I did just want to bring this to your attention. Okay, now I'm going to enter into the kitchen where you can see we have all white appliances. And here as well you can see nail holes and things of that nature just above the windows where curtains were hung. You have some minor marks on this wall as well in the kitchen that would need to be addressed. Um, also the racks from the oven are just sitting there on the counter. They, can, they would need to be installed in there. And also down here beside the kitchen you've got your laundry room. The one thing, or I'm sorry, there's two things that concern me in this room. One is the flooring. Um, just it's, a little, it's very dirty and maybe some minor damage there but then also there's some adhesive uh, substance to the right of the door if you're looking at the doors just to the right there so I want to bring that to your attention that may need to be removed okay now I'm going to circle back toward the front door um, and head on upstairs where we have three bedrooms and two baths. So downstairs we had the kitchen, family room, half bath, garage, and laundry room. Now upstairs we've got three bedrooms and two full baths. The first door on your left here is going to take you into a secondary bedroom. Now in here there aren't many things that need to be addressed. Um, you just have some stickers in certain places and there are a couple dings or scratches on the wall that would need to be touched up to match the painting throughout. And I believe 
This mark here is from one of those picture hangers that you use without a nail. Um, and that's, that's a common sight throughout this home. Okay. Now as I exit the secondary bedroom, the second door on the left will lead me into the master bedroom. As you can see, the master was kept in very good condition. Um, once again, I cannot turn the power or electricity on or the water as it has been turned off and has not been turned on yet by Bravo. Um, you can see there are marks on the wall there. There are some marks on the wall there. With the exception of that, that is the only issues I see in the master bedroom. Now we're here in the master bath. Once again, we've got that bright green color. And then here, just behind the door, there's a tear in the laminate. And then also above the shower, the ceiling looks to be peeling. The ceiling looks to be peeling. Okay. I'm going to go down the hallway here. So this next door on the left is an additional full bathroom. I won't take it in there because it's just too dark to see. Um, however, I did take a flashlight and go through it and everything seems to be in pretty good condition in there. Now we're at the second secondary bedroom upstairs. And this bedroom of all of them would need the most work. There's stickers and marks on the wall here. So this bedroom would definitely need to be touched up. You've also got a broken window um, covering. The blind there is broken. Then also you got some marks in the back of the closet. We may not touch it up, but I did want to bring that to the your attention. Sorry, one more time for this secondary bathroom upstairs you probably can't see it but what I'm showing you is the ceiling you've got the ceiling is peeling in here again and then also the uh, exhaust fan is kinda hanging from the ceiling I would prefer that it be more secure alright and that's gonna conclude the move out inspection for 2520 Freedman's Walk in Decula, Georgia thank you